practice free NSC7 underscore PBC 7.2 real questions for FCSS in public cloud security certification. 1. A customer would like to use FortiGate fabric integration with Forti CNEP. When configuring a FortiGate VM to add to Forti CNEP, which three mandatory configuration steps must you follow on FortiGate? Choose three. A. Enable send logs. B. Create an IPS sensor and a firewall policy. C. Create an IPSEC tunnel. D. Create an SSL, SSH inspection profile. E. Enable two-factor authentication. Answer. A. B. D. 2. Your administrator instructed you to deploy an Azure VWAN solution to create a connection between the main company site and branch sites to the other company VNETs. What are the two best connection solutions available between your company headquarters, branch sites, and the Azure VWAN hub? Choose 2. A. ExpressRoute BGRE Tunnels CSSL VPN Connections DNL 2 TP Connection EVPN Gateway Answer A. E. 3. Which two attachments are necessary to connect a transit gateway to an existing VPC with BGP? Choose 2. A. A transport attachment. B. A. BGP attachment. C. A. Connect attachment. D. A. G. R. E. attachment. Answer. A. C. 4. Which two Amazon Web Services, OZ, features support east-west traffic inspection within the AWS cloud by the FortiGate VM? Choose 2. A. A NAT gateway with an EIP B. A transit gateway with an attachment C. An internet gateway with an EIP D. A transit VPC Answer. B. D. 5. You must allow an SSH traffic rule in an Amazon Web Services, OZ, Network Access List, NACL, to allow SSH traffic to travel to a subnet for temporary testing purposes. When you review the current inbound network ACL rules, you notice that rule number 5 deems SSH and Telnet traffic to the subnet. What can you do to allow SSH traffic? A. You must create a new allow SSH rule below rule number 5. B. You must create a new allow SSH rule above rule number 5. C. You must create a new allow SSH rule anywhere in the network ACL rule base to allow SSH traffic. D. You do not have to create any NACL rules because the default security group rule automatically allows SSH traffic to the subnet. Answer. B. 6. What are three important steps required to get Terraform ready using Microsoft Azure Cloud Shell? Choose three. A. Set up a storage account in Azure. B. Use the O command to download Terraform. C. Subscribe to Terraform in Azure. D. Move the Terraform file to the bin directory. E. Use the wget, t equals a form version, command to upload Terraform. Answer. A. D. E. 7. 
You are automating configuration changes on one of the FortiGate VMS using Linux Red Hat Ansible. How does Linux Red Hat Ansible connect to FortiGate to make the configuration change? A. It uses a FortiGate internal or external IP address with TCP port 21. B. It uses SSH as a connection method to FortiOS. C. It uses an API. D. It uses YAML. Answer. C. 8. An organization deployed a FortiGate VM in the Google Cloud Platform and initially configured it with two VNX. Now, the same organization wants to add additional VNX to this existing FortiGate VM to support different workloads in their environment. How can they do this? A. They can create additional VNX using the Cloud Shell. B. They cannot create and add additional VNX to an existing FortiGate VM. C. They can create additional VNX in the UI console. D. They can use the Compute Engine API Explorer. Answer. B. 9. Which statement about Fortisan box in Amazon Web Services? Oz, is true. A. In AWS, virtual machines, VMs, that inspect files do not have to be reset after inspecting a file. B. Fortisandbox in AWS uses Windows virtual machines, VMs, to inspect files. C. In AWS, virtual machines, VMs, that inspect files are constantly up and running. D. Fortisandbox in AWS can have a maximum of 8 virtual machines, VMs, that inspect files. Answer. B. 10. Customer XYZ has an express route connection from Microsoft Azure to a data center. They want to secure communication over ExpressRoute, and to install an inline FortiGate to perform intrusion prevention system, IPS, and antivirus scanning. Which three methods can the customer use to ensure that all traffic from the data center is sent through FortiGate over ExpressRoute? Choose three. A. Install FortiGate in Azure and build a VPN tunnel to the data center over ExpressRoute. B. Configure a user-defined root table. C. Enable the redirect option in ExpressRoute to send data center traffic to a user-defined root table. D. Configure the gateway subnet as the subnet in the user-defined root table. E. Define a default route where the next hop IP is the FortiGate WAN interface. Answer. A. D. E.